What's going on, y'all? This is a video I've actually been meaning to make for a little while now. Um, yeah, I guess for about a month now. Uh, it's a, a response to a video that I that I've seen, and uh, at the time I wanted to make a response to it. Didn't really get around to it. Uh, I've had some projects of my own that have taken up some time. But um, I got time now. So, so we're going to do it. If you remember, oh, where was it? It wasn't too long ago. Uh, back. I guess it was about a month ago then, too, or something like that. I made a video congratulating a YouTuber um, for 10,000 subscribers. Uh, channel's name is Jay Wool. Go check him out. Uh, cool guy, kind of in the transition from high school to college. And so it's got some real personable videos over there. Puts a couple videos up a week, streams every now and again. Um, from uh, Arizona. And so, cool stuff he's got going there. And he's kind of in this um, mental um, mental stage right now where he's thinking about um, the higher power and the world and uh, you know, things extra to the world. In other words... Um, God, and is God real? And if so, who is God? What is God? And, you know, people who have watched my stuff for a little while, y'all know I'm Christian, brought up in a Christian household. Um, and I've strengthened my faith uh, over the past few years, just uh, realizing that um, a lot of people interpret Christianity and, and, and scripture incorrectly when they try to say that God wants people to live these real poor, um, uneventful, boring lives. When it's really not the case, this is a big God who does big things. You know, he takes, you know, nobodies and turns them into somebodies. Um, and so when I begin to realize that from listening to Steve Harvey, listening to Daniel Alley, and lots of other people, it's like, you know, yeah, now I'm really on board. I want to, I want to read more scripture. And I want to really see where I can take this thing, you know, because um, God does call on us to live a free life and to live a life lived more abundantly. Um, we're not just supposed to scrape by and just make it. We're supposed to be prosperous and successful. That is what brings glory to God. It's being successful. Of course, that makes sense. I mean, think about it. If you have a brand that you're trying to promote and you're outsourcing some of it to other people, you want those people to be successful because if they are successful, you in turn are successful. Same thing here. And so what I wanted to do is um, he posted a video J. Will did about a month ago. Um, is God real? That's the title of it. And again, I wanted to respond to it at the time, but I didn't get around to it till now. And so I was going to just, after I watched it, thinking, all right, I'm going to just record a video and I'm going to talk about it. I actually think, I just rewatched it again, but I think the best way to do it would be to watch it. And I'll pause as I go forward with it and put in my comments. Okay. So I'll share it. Okay. Um, by the way, um, there's there's this channel. All right. So it's just stuff right there. If you want to check that out. Okay, so we're going to, 
Here we go. I got it full screen. And um, I'll just play it and I'll pause whenever I feel like and I'll give my, my comments, right? What's up, guys? I know this is kind of a weird video today, but it's been something I've been thinking about. You know, you guys know um, I always say, like, I'm not a religious person, but I do respect, like, any religion. Like, anyone who comes in my comments telling me to convert to Jesus, I'm like, hey, man, I respect it, but, like, that's not me. I just thought today we do some contemplating. Today we do some pondering. And I don't feel like I'll be, like, a Christian or anything by the end of this video. But... <laughs> Who knows? Maybe I will, you know, I feel like there's a higher power out there is what I'm trying to say. And I'm really not sure what it is or if there, if, if it's really there. So that's kind of what we're going to be pondering today. See, I grew up in a household that was not religious at all. We, we went to church maybe once on Easter, like. Okay. First of all, not religious at all. Yet they went to church every once in a while. Well, if they weren't religious at all, they wouldn't go to church at all. So whatever, doesn't really matter. We don't go to church. But when I was little, I I believed in God and I believed in all that because I would see these YouTube videos on near death experiences. And in these near death experiences, people said they would die for like a minute or two and then come back. And then they would say they saw God when they were dead. So I took that as like, oh yeah, that's hard evidence right there. And you see, I hear about those stories too. And it's like Okay, how are we going to deny that? Literally, anybody who does not believe in Christ, if you hear a story like that, how are you going to say, oh, no, you didn't? No, no, you, you didn't see God. Who are you to say that? Because there are people out there who will say that, who are so atheist, they're so closed-minded. I'm real thankful that this guy is not one of them. Uh, one of his most recent videos actually proves that he's not one of them. And so, you know, he's really fantastic. But well, hello. <laughs> what the heck? Okay. Hi. <laughs> hello. This is gonna be my vice president right here. Rosie, the vice president. You're kind of interrupting me. Yeah, yeah, there you go. Yeah, get in. yeah, yeah, there you go. Lay down on the bed. I'm sorry. <laughs> I had a feeling that was going to happen. Okay. Um, what was that? Okay, yeah, the, uh, the stories of the people, um, like, dying for a little bit, seeing God and coming back. You know, it would, not only would it just be faulty but also be sort of disrespectful to say like oh you say you saw you died and then you you know so came back and well and you saw god oh no you didn't oh no you didn't die how do you know it's like how do you know there are people who are disrespectful enough and indecent enough will say that and so i mean yeah i, I, I believe the same things like yeah that's this freaking evidence right there and you know it is kind of weird that those people saw god when they when they died or saw what they th thought to be god sure yeah. but i don't know over the years i just stopped believing it and i just became an atheist and i was like oh science science man and see when people bring up oh i'm not religious what do you believe in? i believe in science okay that doesn't dispel god though I don't get it. People talk about like, oh, I, be I don't believe in Christ. I believe in the Big Bang. Okay, well, why, why, can't, why can't you believe in both? See, my thing is, what if the universe was created by God through the Big Bang? It's like, why can't it be both? Why can't science be the way that God created the universe? God created our lives. God created our world. Why can't science be the way that we explain that in terms we can understand? Because, again, God's a big God. It's hard for us to grasp it in full. Relax, you'll be fine. So, it's 
What? <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> well, yeah, what are you freaking? Yeah, get out of here. <laughs> So, God's a big God. It can be hard for us to understand all of it. And so, science could be our way of really, you know, humanizing what he does and what he did. Science rules. I would just tell myself, like, there's no way in heck that there's a floating man in the sky or there's no way in heck Put them in the sky, you mean like Care Bears? That Jesus walked on water and turned water into wine or, you know, whatever he was doing back then. Also, <laughs> whatever he was doing back then. <laughs> that just sounds funny to me. Sorry if I poke fun at your religion. You know, I'm just, just trying to keep it lighthearted. Yeah, I but got you. I respect all religions, you know, whether you're a Christian, whether you're spiritual, whether you're an atheist. I respect you. And I respect what you believe. Recently, I've been believing in a higher power. Because the thing is, I realize that praying works. And this is going to sound super weird if you're not religious. I was not religious. And I just started praying like every every now and then. It's not like I do it every day. Um, but I would pray and then those prayers would be answered. And that was crazy to me. Like, what do you mean? I just... Imagine being an atheist and you just pray just for the heck of it, and then your prayers get answered. Like, obviously, you'd be pretty conflicted like me. <laughs> so, you're at me, I might be asking, What prayers did you ask for? What, what, what was answered? So, when me and Esther were broken up, I prayed for two days. The first day, I prayed and I said, You know, I said, I, I did say, like, Dear Heavenly Father, but I said, like, Dear Heavenly Father, or whoever is out there listening to me, and then, like, I would say, like, please, I just want to get back together. Like, I want us to be good again. And I prayed for that. And then the next day, I prayed again. And that same day, we got back together. That same day, she reached out to me. And we got back together. Mm -hmm. This is Steve Harvey. And he said before, don't forget to pray. Don't ever be ashamed to pray. And don't ever be too proud to pray. Because prayer, prayer changes things. Another instance where my prayers were answered is I I think I was just praying like I was I was really anxious. It was nighttime, I was really anxious. And I don't know, I was just hap was about like on the verge of a panic attack, right? Mm -hmm. And I was just in bed and I was like, please, please, I just want Esther to wake up and like help me. I just want her to wake up because she had she had fallen asleep. It was late at night. Five minutes later I get a text from her and she's like, Hey, I can't sleep or something like that. And I was like, oh, my God, thank God you are here. Or thank the universe you are here. <laughs> or thank, I, yeah. I don't know who to thank. I, yeah, yeah, so yeah. I've come to the conclusion that praying works. And it's mm -hmm. not like it works 100% of the time. To me, it's like you can't oh, no. just go and say, dear Heavenly Father, please give me a million dollars. And then it just appears in your lap. I think you can say, you know, please yeah. guide me to becoming wealthy. And then Bam! you will start to see science. Like a Bam! Bam! Somebody gets it. God help guide me to your promised land. Shape my mind in the way that I can become the best version of whom you would have me to be. So that I can best glorify you and make a difference in this world, which I will only be in for a finite amount of time. But while I'm here. I want to make a difference in the name of you, my heavenly father. Somebody gets it. Hallelujah. I've been reading The Alchemist, so I've been thinking about omens a lot. And me and Esther, we consider a yellow Volkswagen Beetle to be a good omen. It's a, it's a sign of good luck. Other things I consider to be omens are butterflies. Um, shoot, I don't know what else. I don't know what else, but um, butterflies and yellow bugs are my good omens that I see. Or I'll, I'll just be hearing a song and like the lyrics kind of just relate to whatever I'm going through. I'm like, that's a sign. Or if I'm hearing a song and the lyrics are, you know, teaching me a lesson, like that's a sign. And I, 
you know, I've come to the conclusion that I need to follow those signs in order to achieve what I want to achieve in order to have my prayers answered. It's not like a million dollars falls on my lap. I have to let the universe guide me to it. I believe that when you put intent out there, the universe conspires to help you. And I don't know if it's God or the universe yet. Maybe the universe is God. And that's kind of what I've been thinking recently. It's like the universe is all of us. You, like we created ourselves like technically. Let's see, I can see here he's really, when he said earlier in the video, he was just going to be pondering and contemplating stuff. I can see it in him that he's doing that. Technically, I don't know what to make of what I just said, but I feel like we created ourselves. So that makes like us the creator. That makes us God. That makes every one of us God. And you might think I'm on some heavy yeah, yeah. right now, but I promise you, I assure you, I'm. Not Be careful trying to say that we're the humans are God now. Be careful. Be careful now. Not. I genuinely think that like everything is God because it's all connected, and it all works in harmony with each other. And a lot of people say to themselves like. If God is real, why am I suffering like this? I feel like that we get taught lessons, but a lot of time the lessons are fairly harsh. If I just said like, somebody gets it again, hallelujah, hallelujah. You don't think that people say God works in mysterious ways. You gotta realize that you can't calculate God. You gotta let him work through you. You think, well, if God exists, he'd be taking care of me. He'd be making sure everything's fine. That ain't how it works. You got to just let him work. You give your life up to him. He'll take you where you need to go. Problem is, he doesn't tell you the pathway toward where your final destination is. If he told you that, you wouldn't follow it. If God had told Steve Harvey that his pathway to being the host of Family Feud and getting on Showtime at the Apollo, being one of the original kings of comedy, and getting his radio show, TV shows, host of Miss Universe and all that stuff, if, if, if God had told Steve Harvey that to get there, he was going to have to live in his car for three years, he would have done it. He would not have followed the path that God had created for him because he knew, God knew to take, to form Steve Harvey into the person that I need him to be to best glorify me, I've got to put them through these tough trials. I've got to have it. What you go through is for a reason. I'm so glad this man gets it. You get it, you get it, you get it. Stop clawing at me. If God wants to teach you a lesson that you shouldn't steal, then you'll just steal and you get caught and you get arrested. Like, so the question, is God real? I think the answer right now for me, the universe is God. But the question is, is there a higher being or is it just pure coincidence that these things are happening? And to be honest, I think it's a higher being. But I think the higher being is everything working together, not just one thing like one man in the sky you know i tried like reading a few pages of the bible and honestly i think if you just replace the word god with the universe it makes more sense to me um but to start with that may be okay but as you go on be careful because if you flip to the last page of the bible in revelation you know I warn everyone who hears the words of the prophecy of the scroll. If anyone adds anything to them, God will add that person to the plagues, to the plagues described in the scroll. If anyone takes away words from the scroll of prophecy, God will take away from that person any share in the tree of life and in the holy city, which are described in the scroll. So be careful trying to add, take away, change words and stuff like that, too. I mean, there's different translations and things like that. But, you know, again, just be careful. The word God could be kept in it for you or anything like that. But I think the Bible has a good sentiment. I only got up to Noah's Ark, but, you know, I've seen. Wait, you read the book of, you, you read the Bible starting all the way from Genesis?
That's tough. I mean, you can do it. That's tough, though. You know, I a lot of people, they start with the Gospels. Matthew, Mark, Luke, John. Beginning of the New Testament. Um, obviously, for me, I'm drawn to the book of Samuel. And, of course, if, if y'all don't know my testimony, it was, you know, my mother was trying to have a child. She lost one in the late 90s. And then in 2000, she finally had me, and she named me Samuel. Because Samuel is Hebrew for her by God. My mother was praying just as Hannah was. And just as Hannah was heard by God, my mother was heard by God. And just as Hannah named her son Samuel, my mother may name me Samuel. And then God decided to give my mother a little bit of grace, which is when you get something you don't deserve. And not only did she give my mother me, she gave her a daughter as well at the same time. And so her name, my sister's name, is Anna Grace, her middle name being Grace, because she was the grace given from God to my mother. And I've seen pages, people um, people comment Bible verses on my, my YouTube channel. So it's like I've seen some of it. And I think it just has a really good sentiment. Not It doesn't necessarily have to be like, God said this and God said this, so you have to follow it. To me, it's like, to me, it's like, oh, I'm reading this. That's kind of a good lesson to learn. And if I replace the word. So you don't have to be Christian to read the Bible. There's a lot of life lessons in there you can read just if you're, if you're reading it without believing anything. In it. God with the universe. It makes more sense to me. As for Jesus, I think he did exist. Like, yeah, I mean, yeah, the person of Jesus existed. There's there's no question about that. There's, you know, biological proof that Jesus existed. The question is, is was he the Messiah? That's what people you know, have the conflicting beliefs about. I don't think he's just this made up figure, but the things that he does, I'm not really sure. Because do I believe in extraordinary things like walking on water and turning water into wine? Like, Maybe Jesus was just like a really good guy who understands, understood the word of God. And maybe the stories about him were exaggerated. I don't know. I'm really not sure. I mean, we weren't there, so it is tough to know. But again, you know, it comes with having faith that what the Bible says is true. And, it could, you know, it can take people time to get to that point where they do have that faith. It's why, you know, you start just as he was talking about praying earlier. You pray and say, well, I hope this will happen. Or, you know, let me just pray and see what happens. They start there. And then it just, things start happening. What they pray for, it gets answered. And then after a while, God blesses you enough. And it's supposed to just turn into faith and say, okay, now I have faith. Because God's blessed me enough. He's answered my prayers enough. Now I know he's got me. But, but. He's said to be the son of God, like, and he's is also God. Like, also, by the way, guys, I haven't really read the Bible. Like, I've read a few pages, so if I'm probably getting this wrong, and feel free to correct me. I just, I don't know about Jesus. Like, what? I don't, I don't know. I'm really stuck on that one. Was he the son of God? I don't know. I think we're all the sons of God, and that's maybe what he was trying to say like if he ever sort of we're all the sons of abraham and you know we're all the creation of god so sort of say he was the son of god like maybe that's just the image that they're trying to project is that we're all sons of god because technically we all are right if god is real and he created us then he created he created the world he created everything he created the universe so that means that we're all sons of god and we're a part of God in a way. And I think that's what they were trying to get at by saying, like, Jesus is the son of God and he's God. But back to the question, is God real? So I guess I, I feel like if I notice the world around me, I notice things that are happening. I do feel like God is real, but I feel like it's the universe. It's like everything in the universe coming together. I don't feel like it's, you know, a man in the sky. I got a feeling he's just on the edge of an existential crisis. <laughs> Sky. And maybe maybe Christians feel this way too. I'm not really sure. But that's just that's just kind of my opinion right now. So that's just my opinion on the whole matter. And, you know, I respect your beliefs. I hope you respect mine. I think I've come to the conclusion that God is the universe and that we're all a part of God. But... 
also that Jesus existed and he, that's kind of what he was trying to say. And the Bible is a good sentiment and it has a lot of good lessons in it. And I've also come to the conclusion that praying works. Right, Chinese and things. Mm -hmm. you put intent out there to do something, the universe conspires to help you. So um, I apologize if I've offended anyone or, you know, mm -hmm. said the wrong thing, but I just, you know, I just wanted to share my beliefs and kind of just contemplate for a while, like, is God real? Is God not real? Is there a higher being? Is it God? I just kind of wanted to, to think about that today. And I know this video is kind of off brand for my channel, but you know, why not? Why not? So I appreciate everyone who made it this far and feel free to correct me if I've made any mistakes and feel free to, to comment your Jesus comments and comment, tell me convert to God. Cause those are, those are I like those. Like most, most people who are like, if, if people consider themselves to be atheist and someone goes on their channel and comments, like you should convert to God. I feel like most people would be like, um, no, get out of here. But for me, I see it a different way. I see it as if I was an atheist, which I was at the start of creating this YouTube channel and at, at, the, at the peak of my Jesus comments, I would say I'm an atheist, but like, I respect your religion. And then they would comment and say like, convert to Jesus. And I'm like, wow, this person cares so much about their religion that they want me to join it. That's Yes, another. Another spot on conclusion from Jay War here. Because, yes, they care so much that they're taking the time to inform you this is the way, the truth, the life, and the way to wealth and prosperity here on earth, and the way to eternal life in heaven, and away from the burning pits of hell and the afterlife. I mean, think about it. Let's say I, this mug right here, okay? This 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 coffee mug right here. Let's say, okay. In here is the cure for cancer. This is the cure for cancer right here. It's I have it in my hand, okay? All you have to do if you're inflicted with cancer is just drink a mug's worth of this. Just drink it and you will be completely cured within 24 hours. Or even maybe not even that long, who knows? But, you know, whatever it is, you will be cured of your cancer. And you will be completely back to where you were before you were, for the cancer developed. Okay? You will be just fine. Good as new. Wouldn't you want to go spread the word of this substance to as many people as could possibly hear you with their own two ears? Yes, of course you would. Because you want people to get this. You know people are suffering from this cancer. You want them to have the chance to be away from the cancer. Same thing here. We know as Christians that God is the way, the truth, and the life. He is the way toward an abundant life and true freedom. And the pathway toward getting away from hell when we perish from this worldly earth and into the pearly gates of heaven. We care so much about you. We want you there so you don't have to suffer for eternity. That's what it is. Man, this guy's freaking awesome. It's actually crazy. And I hope you guys get that outlook on anyone who um, contradicts your own beliefs. So once again, you know, I don't know. <laughs> Just have a nice day, you guys. Just have a wonderful day and en enjoy yourselves. See you later. So a lot of good thoughts there. All right. I know this video is already a little long. Um, I would say um, the J will. If you want some good scripture to read, look for your name. All right. The fifth to last book of the entire Bible. It's in the New Testament. Book of James. There's five chapters. They're pretty short. This is one of actually a few books that I've read in, in entirety. I've read Jonah. I've read James. Maybe a couple others. I've not read this entire thing. I've never read. You really don't have to. It's great. A lot of people say you should. And, well, you probably should. I haven't. 
Maybe someday I will. But really, if you get the scriptures that really propel your life forward and then gain from here and there and listen to other people, stay open-minded like you are, you can be just fine, man. And you can develop a really good life for yourself. All right? And so um, I know that I <clears throat> took a little while to get this video made. And the video's over half an hour long now. But hopefully people watch and gain something from this. I really feel like there's been some shared wisdom here that people can really take something from. Okay. So I really appreciate you. Hopefully I haven't missed anything. And as always, I appreciate y'all. And I will see y'all next time. Oh, one more thing. Y'all solicit. This thing is still available. All right. I, I've got my, I don't know if y'all saw my recent short video, but I got my big old bulk order. Bulk order of books here. All right. Y'all. Y'all want one. They're here. All right. Feel free to get one. The link to where you can get one is on the main page of my uh, YouTube. All right. Up at the top, like you can click like about channel. It's the pay hip link that's up there. All right. So once again, I really appreciate y'all. And I will see y'all next time.